Well, hello and happy new year. God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. If you detect a little frog in my voice, you have wisely discerned and detected because I'm still just a little hoarse from what God did on New Year's Eve uh, the day before yesterday. We had awesome church and we laid hands on everyone in attendance. I want to thank the saints for coming out. I want to thank evangelist Andrea Moles for preaching the word of God on New Year's Eve here that night with power and authority, as did prophetess Barbara Calloway. Oh, the Lord used her on Tuesday night and Monday night. And on last Sunday, prophetess Janet Floyd. Oh, the Lord, the Lord moved on, through that woman of God and during the New Year's Eve service, yours truly delivered the word of the Lord and the theme was unveiled, which is God's truth. Now, it's not that 2020 is the year of God's truth, but it is a declarative. We're declaring, we're declaring that as never before, as never before, we're going to cling to, submit to, hold on to, preach, teach, live, promote, adhere, defend, praise the Lord, uphold God's truth. And you find the truth of God in the Bible. Jesus said, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Uh, Chuck Todd, MSNBC news analyst, uh, NBC news analyst, said this about uh, Noah's Ark. He said he called Noah's Ark when referring to some Trump supporters. He said they love to be lied to and said they love to believe fairy tales like Noah's Ark. Well, we find the story of Noah's Ark in the Bible. We find even Jesus in the New Testament making references to Noah and his ark and the days of Noah. So Chuck Todd may think that the Bible is a book of fairy tales, but I believe that the Bible is the book of God's truth. Jesus said, I'm theme for this year in John's gospel, chapter 17 and 17. Uh, it says, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. I was listening to a sports analyst say just on today that a friend of him says that, uh, and says, it said his friend was talking about the Bible and this guy meant it actually complimentary. He said, you should treat others the way you should be, want the, the way you want to be treated. And that's what his friend said about the Bible. And he says, and the rest of the Bible, the rest of it is just commentary. But the whole Bible boils down to treat people the way you want to be treated. And and the rest is commentary. Now that that sound uh, that sound uh, like he was paying homage to the scripture, but that's not true. The entire Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, the epistles, all of the Bible is the word of God. The law and the prophets, the Psalms, the 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 the, the gospels, as I forementioned. All of the Bible is the word of God. And the prophet Ezekiel said that we're to eat the whole roll. I revealed on the, a New Year's Eve in the message that Satan, that there would be a, multi, a, a multiplied, manifold, concerted push, a concerted effort to separate us from the truth of God's word. Well, I'm here to say that at the upper room, and uh, we are fighting back. We believe that the Bible is the word of God. And my friends, you believe it also. Praise the Lord. There are born again believers all over the world who are not going to buy into the devil's lie. We're not going to allow Hollywood. We're not going to allow commercials. We're not going to allow so-called doctors and experts in the field to move us away from the scriptures. I was watching a show last night and where they brought forth some psychiatrist or some psychologist who was trying to justify gender uh, fluidity and how a two men, a man was sitting there and a woman was sitting there and they were testing, they were talking about their 
lifestyles and their sex lives. And the guy says that when he's with guys, then uh, uh, that's what he is. And when he's with girls, then that's what he is. And he's fluid. And, and, he, and, and, and they were saying they don't believe in labels. My friends, be careful how the word label is being used. We're not talking about labels. We're not talking about what you call a thing. God's truth doesn't deal with superficial things like that. God's truth deals with what a thing actually is. Now, if you are a man and you are having sex with a man, you are a sodomite. You are a homosexual. If you are a woman and you're having sex with a woman, you are a lesbian. The Bible condemns that behavior. And if you're having sex with both sexes, you know what you're walking in? Uh, you are licentious. You are lascivious. You are, the Bible calls it lasciviousness. And the lascivious person is one who has no restraints. One who is open to all all pleasures, one who can, can get it on with anybody, a man, a woman, a dog, a stop sign, you name it. If they can find a way to get with it, they'll do it. That the Bible speaks to that. It is lasciviousness. Let me tell you something. Everything is in the word of God. God's word speaks to it all. All you got to do is read the thing, preach it, and teach it. And for you preachers who are getting this, don't be ashamed of it because the Bible is right. So I, I, you know what? I've made a decision. I'm sure you have. I'm going to trust God. I'm trusting the Lord more than I'm trusting any talk show host, <laughs> any sports analyst, any movie star, any billionaire, any mogul, anybody. It doesn't matter the color. doesn't matter the gender. If what you say flies in the face of scripture. I'm taking God's word over your word any day and every day because heaven and earth shall pass away, but God's word will not fail. So here we are. It's a brand new year. I'm coming off the blocks of 2020, excited and fired up and convinced as never before that the scriptures are the word of God, that the Bible is God's written, infallible, inerrant word. <laughs> it's God's love letter to the human race. So tonight, we are going to be studying, you guessed it, the Bible. I want you to meet me tonight. This is the first Thursday night of the new year. Start the new year off right. Start the new year off right. Come to Bible study. We just, we just finished an awesome New Year's Eve service. And I'll tell you, I'm glad. I'm glad that we weren't at some party. I'm glad that we weren't with some frat. We weren't the ladies. We weren't with some fraternity. Uh, we weren't downtown at some juke joint. We wasn't watching an acorn fall. We weren't watching an apple fall or anything like that. We were watching heaven fall. The windows of heaven was open and the fire was burning bright. Praise the Lord. And, uh, and the Lord blessed us. The Lord blessed us in a mighty way. Well, the follow-up is that we're going to study the scriptures tonight. And if, the, if it is the Lord's will, I hope that I get to it tonight. I want to study and teach on the creme de la creme, the reason why Jesus, the main reason, why Jesus came to this earth in the first place. There are many reasons, but the main reason, and my friends, you want to know it. You want to hear it for yourself. You want to be in the sanctuary and to feel the anointing and feel the power and experience the Bible teachings for yourself. So I've talked long enough. I'll see you tonight for... Bible study. Yes, Bible study. God bless you.